Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. Once again, it's the brother Shati from the Chicago camp. Coming back to you with what I hope is another quick and edifying and sit down. All right. And I've been watching. Well, I shouldn't say watching, but uh, the past week or so, I've been scrolling through my YouTube feed and I've noticed a very reoccurring theme amongst the nation of Israel. And that is the time is now to make that decision whether you're going to get right or get destroyed because a lot of the videos that I've seen in my YouTube feed as I said there's a very similar reoccurring thing it's either get right or shit's about to hit the fan uh, are you spiritually prepping so on and so forth and it's in regards to this election that's going to be taking place Pretty much for the next today, probably for the next week or so. Okay. And many Jakes and heathens alike know that regardless on who the elite select to win, all hell is going to break loose. And that's why you Jakes out there that are still half-assing and straddling the fence, you have a very important question to ask yourself. Because after this time, after this election, there's going to be no turning back. So, as I said, you need to ask yourself the question in Exodus 32 and 26. It says, Then Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said, who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto me, and all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together unto him. And that's the question you need to ask yourself. Do I want to be on the Lord's side? Because I've seen a few videos on YouTube where... They posted a link to something on their personal uh, web page, but uh, because they knew YouTube would bring it down. But a lot of the uh, how should I put this? Uh, I should say a segment that they put up on many of these videos dealt with most people in the United States believe that. There will be civil unrest after the election, and there is a 77, basically there is an 80% chance that there will be horrible violence after the election. And many people know this. Once again, you have to ask yourself, do I want to be on the Lord's side? Because if you're not, you're going to fall victim to many other things. As King David said, uh, what was it? Hands. Lord. Because King David knew that, hey, the last thing you want to do is be out here and not have the mercy of the Lord with you. Uh, what's that in Psalms? Let me put this on pause and try to find it. All right, I found it. This is 2 Samuel 24 and 13. It says, So Gad came to David and told him and said unto him, Shall seven years of famine come unto thee in thy land, or wilt thou flee three months before thy enemies while they pursue thee, or that there be three days pestilence in thy land? Now advise and see what answer I shall return to him that sent me. And David said unto Gad, I am in great strait. Let us fall now into the hand of the Lord, 
for his mercies are great and let me not fall in the, into the hand of man. Okay. Because if you're not on the Lord's side, that's what's going to happen. You're going to fall into the hands of man. And trust me. Do you seriously want to be at the hands of men at a time like this where everybody is angry and upset and frustrated and doped up and drugged out, pimped out, broke, hungry? Do you really want to be in the hands of people like that? Once again... You got to ask yourself that question. Will you be on the Lord's side or not? So I hope this was edifying. Until the next time, we're going to say Shalom.